Ever wondered why does February has 28 days as compared to the other month? It is a short month because it has missing days. But why does it is like that? This is the only month in a year which has 28 days or 29 in a leap year. So here's the crazy and confusing story of February. Why does February has 28 days? My name is Shahid Raza from Trending In. Chaliye shuru karte hain. As we already know that February is the second month of the year and the only month that is affected by leap year. Other than that, we don't know nothing about February. So again, why February has 28 days? The reason can be found looking back in the history to the time of the Romans. It's one of the biggest Romans fault. Our modern calendar is loosely based on their old and confusing calendar one. The first king of Rome was Romulus. He devised a 10-month lunar calendar that began at the spring equinox in March and ended with December. The months had slightly different names like March was pronounced as Martius, April was Aprilis, May was Mayus, June was Lunis, July was Quintilis and August was pronounced as Sextilis. September, October, November and December. This name were the same like now. All these months alternated of having 30 and 31 days totaling the year with 304 days. January and February used to never exist. Due to vast amount of cultures and languages in Europe, February has ton of different names. In Middle English, it was called Februus. In Latin, it was called as Februus Mensis. In some of the European part, it was called Februum. Mostly, February was called Februum. Also, according to studies, Februum means purification because the month was a time for purification. But did you know that February is the second month of both Julian and Gregorian calendar as February used to never exist. That's right, it just didn't but it's likely they were left off because the winter time wasn't important for the harvest. January and February winter months did not sit well with the Romans. They just hated the cold just like the Lannister did in Game of Thrones. Second king of Rome, Numa Pompilius, decided to make the calendar more accurate by syncing it up with the actual lunar year. So here is the time when January and February came into the picture. Numa added two months January and February after December. The new month each had 28 days, totaling the year with 354 days. But that did not sit well with Numa because even numbers were considered bad luck at the time. So Numa Pompilius added a day onto January giving the year an odd number of 355 days. No one knows why February was left with 28 days and remained an unlucky month. It may be related to the fact that Romans honored the dead and performed the rites of purification in February. The 355 day calendar couldn't stay in sync with the season because it did not account for the amount of time it took for the earth to orbit the sun. So an extra intercalary month of 27 days was inserted after February 23. Intercalary month? What's that? February was normally the last month of the Roman calendar as the year originally began in March. At certain intervals, Roman priests inserted an intercalary month after February to realign the year with the season and this was not at all in a proper sequence. In around 45 BC, a Roman politician Julius Caesar commissioned an expert to put aside the lunar origins of the Roman calendar and make it sun-based like the Egyptian calendar 1. Julius Caesar added 10 days to the existing 355 days making it to 365 days and one day after every four year in February. Now the year averaged out to 365.25 days which is very close to the actual average length of a year that is 365.2425 days. So this is how February got 28 days and 29 in a leap year. I know, I know you must be like this. That's it for this video. But I have a question. Were you born on Feb 29? So when do you celebrate? Feb 28 or March 1 or once in a 4 year? Let us know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel Trending In. Wow.
बहुत खूब बहुत खूब